It's AEW Double on. <laughs> <laughs> Support Wrestle Talk. Donate on Patreon. It's AEW All Out Predictions time. I'm Ollie Davis. This is Laurie Blake. There is Luke Owen. And we are here to predict the final AEW pay per view of their sort of first season year of the pre TV era yeah. bit of AEW. Yada yada. Of course, this is all for the Wrestle League trophy emoji trophy within the office. This latest season, season three, began with SummerSlam. The SummerSlam stats are included, and it'll run all the way up until Survivor Series. Every major wrestling pay-per-view that we do predictions on will be totaled up between then, and we'll have a comprehensive league. I lost... Me and, me and Luke lost Series 0, mm -hmm. and then Season 1, I lost... Yep. Luke lost season two. Oh yeah, you won flipped. season one. Won season one, floating around the top for the other ones. Randy Andy yeah, Datsun it's... is the current office holder of the trophy emoji trophy, and that's why it lives in the studio where he's not allowed. Yes, mm -hmm. he can't have nice he's not, things. He's not had a presentation ceremony. So and where where are we right now? So with the SummerSlam predictions, Randy is in the lead once again, oh. alongside Laurie Blake with nine points from SummerSlam. Uh, myself and Pete are then close behind with eight, and currently Oliver Davis is in last place with seven points from SummerSlam. Plenty of time to make it up Thank though. You. There are so uh, so many opportunities to pick up those points as we head towards Survivor Series. Also this weekend, it is double double points because not only is All Out happening, but it's also NXT TakeOver Cardiff. We're not going to do a predictions video for that because... Mm. But <laughs> we did do predictions for it over on Patreon. So if you want to get involved, head on over to patreon.com forward slash WrestleTalk and you too can predict and who will win between Dave Mastiff and... It's a joke. It's one of the coffees. And Come, one of the coffees. Come on, they've got Cesaro versus someone. No, no, he, he's just going to the show. They haven't announced a match for him. Ah, oh, but it'll, it'll be fun to see him there, won't it? It's P. Dunn. Well, we made the I joke in the P. office Dunn. earlier that, like, because Chris Hero's there, so it's likely they're going to reunite the, uh, you know, be nice. the Kings of Wrestling. And I was like, it's the most WWE thing to do, to reunite the Kings of Wrestling in the promotion no one watches. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you can also compete against us, not in just NXT UK, but for the whole of season three, head over to Patreon. Five dollars a month or more backers can predict against us in Wrestle League, and you'll be listed in a big old league table. I think there was seven hundred people in season two overall. Oh, indeed, yeah. And you'll, you'll see us in there, usually nowhere near the top. Oh, no. You have to scroll quite a way down to find the highest more. of us, uh, and then like usually someone called Eric wins overall and you'll get the, the the actual winner of wrestle league gets a wrestle talk wrestle league trophy emoji trophy but for now aw all out luke so let's start with the buy-in uh, the pre-show and we are kicking off with six-man action between luchasaurus jungle boy and marco stunt versus scu mm. oliver davis what say you i'm gonna go for s c u because although i i really like all the the young guys in there I think they're going to put the veterans over. SCU have had a lot of high-profile matches, and I think that's AEW's way. But the Lucha boy, Lucha Stunt Lucha Boys... Lucha Stunt Boys. Lucha Stunt Boys will get over in defeat. Uh, Laurie Blake? The Stunt Boy saw us. Uh... I would like to go for So Calorie Valerie Uncensored. Nice. <laughs> so Calorie Valerie Uncensored. I, on the other hand, I'm going to go for my boys, Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, and Marco Stunt. The Stuntosaurus boy. The Stuntosaurus boys. boys. Lovely time with the Stuntosaurus boys. And the reason I've gone for that is that I think that the press really like Jungle Boy because he's the son of Luke Perry, who sadly passed away this year. And AEW have been putting him front and center for a lot of their TNT things. Because the press just like him. He's a really good looking lad. He's got a wonderful head of hair on him. Great hair. Great hair. And I think that the press and magazines like to take photos of said hair and mm. put it in their magazines and on their websites. So this is a jungle boy. Exactly. And it's like, you know, it's on the buy-in. It's the preacher that's meant to make you want to watch the rest of the show and future AEW projects. So put over jungle boy really hard. Up next, we've got the buy-in uh, 21 Woman Casino Battle Royale. The 
not the most confusing battle royal in wrestling history. I still think that belongs to TNA's reverse battle royal, where the rules are you have to get into the ring in order to compete in the battle royal in the first place. It makes sense, I guess. <laughs> um, but this one has 21 women, but only nine have been announced thus far. So it's Nyla Rose, Britt Baker, Ali, Brandy Rhodes, Teal Piper, Eva Lees, Jazz, Big Swole, and Sadie Gibbs. I love Big Swole. Oh, name. what a name. So, yeah. <laughs> Laurie Blake, you can either pick from those nines or pick any rando. Just female name wrestler. a woman. Name a name woman. Name a woman you've heard of. You Session can, moth. Uh, no, you can uh, say uh, SoCal uh, Val if you want. Yeah. To. <laughs> it's uh, Britt Baker. Go with Britt Baker uh, because I believe that this match. So whoever wins this match becomes one half of the AEW Women's Championship match. Correct. On the first episode, and Britt of Baker AEW. feels like a shoe in for that. So mm. maybe here. Yeah. No. Maybe I mean, that makes completely mm. makes sense. The safe pick, and this is why top of the league. I'd oh, be really annoyed if Val, SoCal Val, appears in it and hadn't told us. Mm. Mm. Friend of the channel. <laughs> I'm going with a completely outside pick of Tessa Blanchard. That is a big pick. It's because a big she's and signed with so many other companies. Most yeah. likely she's incorrect. quite busy. Yeah, she's <laughs> you know what? T delete mine. I'm going for Sammy Callahan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> be so good. No, what, Tessa Blanchard comes out first next, Sammy yeah, Callahan. Yeah. I think Tessa is going to be the wild card pick. You want to have like your big surprise name. People are going like, OMG, it's, you know, mm. whoever it is. So I think going with Tessa Blanchard there, probably the biggest independent name going. And it's, I'm, oh, what if it's Sasha Banks? But I'm going to go with, it would be the funniest thing if it was Sasha Banks. She returned to WWE, it was just like, draw, no, I'm actually going to AEW. <laughs> green hair. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going with Tessa. <laughs> uh, Oliver Davis, what say you? Well, I did see him punk. Everyone's oh, yeah. trying to figure out where he's going to debut on the card, mm. if he is going to. I think it might be here. As a punkette. But for a chick magnet punk, it just oh. be absorbed to like it oh. magnetized to them. I'm gonna go for Awesome Kong. Mm, interesting, because I feel like she got such a good pop last time. Glow Series Three's out. I guess it's kind of a few weeks old, but that's yeah. never stopped wrestling promotions Absolutely before. Not, no. Yeah, and it'd be a good featured match, especially if who I think's gonna win the other half. Yes. Of the, the AEW women's title we'll match. Gets to shortly, but before we get to that, we've got to do Private Party versus Angelico and Jack Evans. Uh, I am going for Private Party because mm. I think they're rad and I think AEW really, 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 really like them. Mm -hmm. And they want them and they want them too. Oliver Davis. I'm going to go for Angelico and Jack Evans. Mm. It's going to be a very flippy high flying match. This. Oh, isn't this just? All four yeah. of them are so, so good at those kinds of in ring styles. Flips. Yeah. But I think Angel Angelico and Jack Evans more established. They're going to go for them and private party. I'm going to say it a lot today get over and defeat. Nice. Laurie Blake, I'm having a pee party. Yes. Please. Join I me. I think they're great. A party just for pee. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ollie Davis alluded to it earlier. This is currently rumoured, but it's not confirmed at the time of this recording, which is Wednesday the 28th. Uh, but the Rio versus Hikura Shida match is currently rumoured to be the the winner will be the other half of the women's championship match that will be on the first episode of AEW when it airs on TNT in October. So, yeah, we don't know that for now. That might be announced on the show itself. Uh, but uh, who went first last time? Uh, me. So I'm going to go with uh, Oliver Davis. Her name is Rio. And that's not just because I can't really pronounce the other competitor's name. Oh, I think Kenny Omega's very high on her. He's reportedly a big driving force behind AEW's women's division. I'm going for her. Nice. Laurie Blake? Shida. Going for Shida. Ah, Interesting. And you can't tell why. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, going yeah, for okay, going for Shida. I mean, I'm also going for Shida. I think that AEW are very, very, very high on her. Actually, I mean, and I don't think you're wrong in your assessment that they're also very high on Rio because she dances on the sand. But also, like, she feels like she's been very featured on these pay per views. But mm. I think that Shida was like one of their first big signees mm. that they had. And I, yeah, I, I've, I think they've got a lot of plans for her, particularly if you're right and it is Britt Baker who wins the, uh, the Battle Royal. Because uh, I could see them do that's like a big marquee match for AEW. Mm -hmm. uh, up next, it's the Cracker Barrel triple threat match between Darby Allen, Joey Janela, and WrestleTalk's boy, Jimmy Havoc. Jimmy. Jimmy. 
Jimmy, Jimmy effing Havoc. Sounds lame when we do it. Go on, Jimmy. <laughs> go on, go on, Jimmy. Hit him with the stapler. Staple him, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> Staple him, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, I like Darby <laughs> Allen, though, please. Thank You're going with you. Darby Allen. Uh, I think after Darby showing against Cody and like lasting to the time limit, he's shown clear resilience in taking punishment. This will be that taken to its conclusion nice and he finally gets a win mm. i'm also going with darby allen because i think they are yeah i think i mean perhaps i'm going to be repeating myself but i think they're very high on him uh the cody match was an absolutely incredible match it was mm -hmm. so so good and i think they look at darby allen again good looking young kid really unique style yeah. very unique backstory so much that you can do with him in, in the future. So I'm going to go with Darby Allen. And I think also case. Darby Allen winning in this match, you can use that to splinter off Joey Janela and Jimmy Havoc into oh, their yeah. own feud, which they've been building themselves mm -hmm. on Twitter. Yes. So yeah. love that. I think Joey Janela. I think of the three, as much as I love Jimmy Havoc, he's just absolutely amazing and hasn't really had the chance to get that high-profile moment yet on a AEW. Darby Allen, I didn't really know much about him until that incredible Cody match and, and the John Moxie match. But I think Joey Janela has the most sort of mainstream charisma. Mm -hmm. So I think they'll put it on him. Plus, he's, he's bloody phenomenal anyway. Isn't he just? Um, that match should be... shades, and they did like WCW style stuff. Mm, so. That's very true, yeah. I think this might be Logic. my most anticipated match on the card. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, there. obviously, there are some matches on here you're like, man, that sounds amazing, but I'm just really, really excited to see this triple threat. So this is Cracker Barrel. This is the Cracker Barrel one, yeah. Um, it's also Sponsored very funny. By. It was also very funny that we said that uh, Jimmy Havoc is Wrestle Talk's boy, and none of us picked him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which is, which, it's if about you're a Wrestle Talk boy, that's what it's about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really? A, it means just, you're likely going to win. It's about being <laughs> adequate. <laughs> Uh, up next, speaking of Cody and that incredible match with Darby Allen, it is Cody versus the chairman, Sean Spears, who will have Tully Blanchard in his corner. Uh, I am going to say Sean Spears. I think they've got big, big plans mm. for him. And I think that this is a storyline that you can really elongate out, move into the TV version of AEW when it airs on TNT. So I'm going to go with Sean Spears on this, particularly if Tully's sticking around. Oliver Davis? I, I know, yeah, I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think Cody needs to lose to keep Sean Spears a high-profile threat, carry this blood feud through to TV and have that almost as your first program. However, I don't think, I don't know why, but my mind is hung up on all the co-executive vice presidents of AEW, Cody, the Bucks, and Omega, all getting the same result. And because I think the others are going to lose, I'm going to say Cody wins here. I'm going to say Cody wins here. Interesting. Laurie Blake? Spears. Spears. What are your thoughts for Spears? Well, I think I think that you don't... One, you don't want Cody getting revenge this early. Like, the, the feud... You don't just go, oh, match, I won. Well, that's over then. Yeah. Uh, I also just think that Cody can lose completely and retain all of his momentum just by having it be a bit of a schmoz. Like, it, yeah, and I think there's, Cody, like, there's so much you can do with it and you can set Spears up as like this massive heel mm. through doing that. I completely agree. And I think Cody has, he's so established already within AEW that he can take this loss and it doesn't yeah. hurt him. Whereas actually it elevates Sean Spears massively. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm good. This is the thing, like, yeah, Omega, the Bucks and Cody are the reason the company started. They can kind of just do whatever they... As long as they're there, people are pretty happy with it, I think. Yeah. And they don't really care about the story. The story doesn't have to be that Kenny Omega wins everything. No. Uh, right, up next, the winners of this be. match will receive a first Easy buy the in the AEW World Tag Team Championship Tournament, and it is between the Best Friends versus the Dark Order. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky dude. Oliver Davis. I'm going to go for the Dark Order. I don't really know much about them, but they have been focused on heavily. They seem to get an angle after every mid-card tag team match on AEW TV, or pay-per-view so far. Yeah. They've got the big debut. I don't, it's weird because none of their stuff is connected with the audience it hasn't yet. Gone over, yeah. Uh, but they obviously see something in them. Yeah. Dark Order. Dark Order. Laurie Blake? Dark Order. Lovely stuff. The goons come out, I think. I'm also going with the Super Smash Brothers. 
Um, yeah, because I'm a mark, apparently, and I'm going to call them by their other... I just think you just, well, I, you just don't want that team, like, to lose here no. and have to go through the whole tournament. You're much better having the best friends fighting back through the whole tournament. I completely yeah. agree, yeah. It almost feels backwards to have, like, debuted them and done all of this push for them, and then, like, in their first big match, it's like, and they lose. Yeah, yeah. that's very WWE. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, up next, it is a ladder match for the AAA Tag Team Championships between the Lucha Brothers and the Young Bucks. Oh, baby, this should be fire emoji. Uh, and 100 emoji, 100 emoji, 100 <laughs> emoji. I love ladders. You love ladder, a ladder, ladder match. All the I love ladder. ladder. I love ladder. I want it to be as contrived as possible. Oh, yeah. Mm. I, don't I don't want care. any yeah. of the ladder matches, uh, any of the ladder spots to make sense. I want, I want them, them to, to go to a Home Depot halfway through and pick up more ladders. More ladders. I think, you know, like you get uh, houses of cards. I want three ladders set up and then two ladders on top of those, but balanced on the tops of the other ladders and then another ladder at the top and then for everyone to jump off that. Yeah, not onto anyone else. No, no, just jump off it like a PCO dive. I was going to say, yeah, like PCO. Um, And, you know, we were just saying how much we want them to get get away from their gambling theme. So doing a real House of Cards type thing. Yeah, that could be the blow off. That is Mm. the blow off to it. I'm going to go Lucha Bros because it's for the AAA tag team titles. I think you want to get those over to AAA again. It's been fine for this year of Mm pay-per-views but when you get onto tv it's just going to become confusing to a first-time viewer to see this tag team tournament to crown the new tag team champions but there's tag team champions there so what are these tag team titles you know it's too yeah, much. I agree. And I think also the Bucks have said goodbye to the indies. I'm doing big air quotes for podcast listeners. So do you want them then going to AAA just to drop the belt so they can then get ready for TV? Yeah. It makes more sense just to have the Lucha Brothers go back and drop them and then they can go over yeah. to TV. So I'm also going with the Lucha Brothers. LB, what say Me you? Me too, LB, LB. LB, LB. Nice. Up next, it's it's sadly the replacement match on the show. It's Kenny Omega versus The Bastard Pack. Now, sound like I'm down on this. I'm actually super stoked for this yeah. match because this is going to be awesome. But it's I'm I'm gutted it's not Omega Moxley. He was going to get a case of Mox, and now he's got a case of Pack. He has indeed. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a it's just a shame we're not getting it because those Omega promos that he was cutting on Moxley were so so good. But it has made me want to see that match even more now. So it's almost like I was saying to you the other day. It's a bit like Rousey Becky Lynch where we didn't get it at Survivor Series, and that just made us want to see that match even more. So yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of stoked that we'll get to see it eventually. Um, and I am going to go with Kenny Omega in Kenny. this one. I'm going to mm. yeah, Kenny O is who mm. I'm going with. Oliver Davis. I'm going to go with Pac. The bastard. The, there's a rule that um, you put me, you put Pac down as oh, Ari's. I do apologize. Sorry, you can leave it there. That's, <laughs> that's, okay. that's what I'm picking. The, there's there's a sort of rule where if someone gets replaced in a match, it's the replacement that wins. But that's not why I think Pac's going to win here. I think Moxley might not be able to wrestle a full match, <gasps> but he sure can run in and cost someone one. Oh, tasty. Or CM Punk. Yeah. CM Punk. By the way, CM Punk. Americans pronounce MRSA as Mercer. Do they now? Yeah, the MRSA infection, the initial initialism of MRSA. Yeah. They, they've turned it into an acronym. Mercer, Mercer, Mercer. Mercer. So they say, Nurse. I'm doing Mercer, a Reddit Mercer. Ammer. No, yeah, I, did, I have consistency. <laughs> so apologies to anyone that we said a phrase in our own I'm way. I'm not apologizing yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, anyway, so you're also saying PAC. Mm-hmm. Got any reasons? No, just like PAC. Yeah, that's a good shout. <laughs> just love it. I just Are really they, like PAC. The uh, rumor is, though, and actually I don't think you can take any of the rumors with PAC at face value, considering what's happened with him and AEW so far, but apparently he's not going to be doing any other dates with the company after this. So that's the current word on the streets. So the reason, yeah, I think like there should be there should be a logic of me picking Pat because I'm now going to pick Adam Page to win the the championship, and then I'm not. This is not my answer. This, <laughs> that, that, that would be the logic because I'm going to pick Page, and then they can have their feud yes. that was going to happen all that time ago. But I'm not doing that. I'm just saying Pack. Okay, fair <laughs> so enough. I'm picking Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> Long way, okay, it's a long yeah. way around. It is Adam Page versus Chris Jericho for the AEW World Championship. There's a storyline that I should have gone with. It's La- Jericho. Laurie Blake, what say you? 
Adam Page. <laughs> Jericho. <laughs> Jericho. Okay, we're going with Jericho. Uh, Oliver Davis, you are also going with... Jericho. Unfortunately, this really isn't an anticipated match for me. I think AEW haven't done a good job building it. No. <sighs> yeah. Not in their sort of weekly road twos, and especially not the pay-per-views. They've put Paige in like mid card match after mid card match. Yeah. Ever since he was di- whatever they had planned for him with the original Pack versus Paige, double or nothing encounter, it must have derailed it. He's been absolutely in placeholder stuff. Yeah. yeah, and sure he's getting wins, but he's getting wins over and I love them MJF. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's he's going up against Chris Jericho. Yeah, and that, I think that's the, that's the problem, isn't it? They're trying to simultaneously build new stars by having them in these big marquee matches but then they're still using bigger na- like bigger names from elsewhere mm. to try and grow the company and it's like maybe we should choose to do one of them at one time yes yeah they're build the company masters, and then yeah. go now let's have all the the young guys come up yeah it's a shame because i really want it to be page he had a fabulous promo with jr talking about why it was so important for him to win this match and he made the point, it's like, maybe it makes more sense for it to be Jericho because mm. he's the name. And people will see that and they'll tune in to watch the TV show. But I have to win this match. So, and I kind of like that angle for it. So I want to say Paige, but I'm also going to say Jericho. Yeah. Mostly for that reason that you put on a start. Like, when I've talked to my friends about, who don't watch wrestling, about AEW, when they said who's in it, the first name I'll always say is Jericho because they're all lapsed fans and that's a name they'll recognize. Yeah. So I get it from that sense. Putting it on a, an old guy with a dad bod, I'm not sure yeah. that's your best choice for your first champion. No. Oh, but then if you're man. hiring Tony Schiavone and you're trying to coax oh, CM Punk it. out of yeah. retirement, you're desperate for lapsed fans, Luke. Yeah. I know. Yeah, you're right. Plus, Jericho's got that Judas elbow, which is... It's, it's, oh, it's sickening. It's, it's you disgusting. can't kick out it's of it. Disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> Should be illegal. So against my better judgment, I'm also going for Jericho. Yeah. Ah, but our bonus question of go. the evening show is: Will CM Punk? Wrestle Talk fans love it when we bring his name up. Absolutely love it. Will CM Punk debut for AEW either in the crowd or in a video package or in an angle? Essentially, will he appear on the show? And I have said yes. Now, that might just be wishful thinking, but I think they've been working us. I think this whole Cody Bucks and Punk being annoyed at them for going public about their meetings and saying, like, a text message isn't a meeting, this, that, and the other. And now the, the, his agent has reached out to Fox about him hosting a WWE show, I think is a way to take us all off the scent. And he's going to be at the show. I mean, I've gone yes as well. <laughs> even if it's just, even if it's all uh, actually just shoot, and he's just doing it to be like, well, now you can stop calling me. I appeared. I've done my one promo thing you wanted me to do. Yep. Leave me alone. Let me write my comic books in peace. Exactly. Conrad said that he's likely not going to be at the show as well. I think, he's, I think they're all trying to work as. I don't think it's going to happen. You know, no, it's a bit. And, 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 you, and you know what? You're probably right. No, no. Take that off. Oh. Take that off. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not going to think it's going to happen in my head. It's not happening. But I'm saying, but I'm saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, no. Okay, so varied choices throughout. Ooh. There are only a couple. So this could be our first big split yeah. in the uh, the rest league because I think everyone's just said the same thing for NXT UK Cardiff. Walter. <laughs> yeah. Nine times. Even Nine in times. matches he's not in. Yeah, it get, this is a chance for some people to pull ahead massively yeah. in the Wrestle League. And for Randy to fudge the numbers so that uh, he pulls ahead. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, that's all we've got time for today, but we will be live streaming AEW All Out after going to see the New Japan show across the road in oh, the yeah. day. It's a big old day for us on Saturday. Yep. We're going to be exhausted, but it's going to be real fun, so tune in and watch it along with us. But for now, please click the videos that have appeared on the desk to catch up. <coughs> with the latest awesome Wrestle Talk things, this button right here, which will make you a pledge hammer on Patreon so you can participate in the Predictions League against us. I've been Ollie Davis. This has been El Fagador Laurie Blake. Over there's Luke Owen. And that was Predictorine.